Okay, I was working on his wings a little bit. Let's continue with that. We're putting little V-cuts in here. Like I said, you can do this any way you want. You want to make it more realistic wings, you can. You can use a wood burner if you want. Um, but cutting out this to make it look like it goes separated helps a lot to make it look like wings. Okay, We need to put like two more in there yet. One about here, I would say, and one about here. That's good. So we're just going to notch out the corners. All right, and then you're going to do the other wing the same way. And then on the back side, what you're going to do, this is a larger wing, so you're going to kind of bring this down like so. All right, just like so. All right, and you can bring it all the way to the to the end if you want. That's up to you. Um, you want to do a partial? You can. I like taking it all the way over, and not all the way to the back, but pretty close. And you can use a parting tool. You can use one of these if you want. Um, I have the micro tools. They work pretty well too for this kind of stuff. It goes a heck of a lot quicker. Okay, but whatever is convenient for you and whatever you have available, you can do it with a knife. Like I've been showing you. Alright. That's kind of the wings there. Alright. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use one of these little things. Or you can use a knife, either one. And we're going to start notching his hair out a little bit here. It's kind of straight. So we're just going to bring this down and around. Just got to make sure those, those, um, these knives are nice and sharp or these micro tools. If they're not, they're going to be miserable to use. They're not going to be fun. So just try to keep them honed up and sharpened. If you can learn how to sharpen. V-tools are not simple to sharpen. Uh, some people do have a knack for it. Um, I'm, <laughs> I can do it, but it takes me a while to actually learn how to do those. And then we're going to do the back part of his head too. So to that like halo. Alright. We're going to just kind of follow that path to the back here. Notice how my thumb resting on it helps me to control it. Believe me, you don't want to stab yourself with one of these. You just kind of want to see how I'm using my hand, like my finger, this part of my hand. Uh, to push not my arm. Everybody handles these a little differently. This is just the way I do it. Again, uh, you know, keeping the thumb there so if you happen to miss you're, and you hit yourself, you're not going to go in too deep unless you're really close to it. But at least you have some kind of control over this tool. Okay? That's it right there. Alright, so that's his hair. Alright. I'm going to look at this a little bit better. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, and so I'm going to do the other wing that way. We're going to start with his body. Next, we're going to have him kind of kneeling just like we had the others. So we're going to bring this down and around. All right, the, we have his hands and his arms coming down, kind of. All right, and then down. That is his you know you can make that a little bit wider um see how this wider that might look a little nicer so let's do that like his robe comes down a little bit further all right i'm gonna round this up just a little bit all right i forgot to do the back part of this wing there and my 
a little bit of a rush on this okay and what we're going to do is we're going to go straight across right here okay that's where his hands are going to kind of be folded together all right and we're going to just go up a little bit down and do another stop cut right there that looks good all right and we're going to just cut this out all the way to the wing there that's it I'm going to cut this out if I can hang on to this right there alright I'm going to do the same thing over here bring this down kind of follow your your wing here a little bit of your robe here wings out a little bit there this is not the proper way of saying it. It's just wider there at the end. And you're going to follow your wing. There we go. There we go. And you can kind of round that off. All right, good. All right, now on the top here, we're going to have it going straight across. And we're going to come down. All right. And we're just going to kind of round this off a little bit. All right. And we're going to follow the put a stop cut. We're going to come down from the top. These would be nice little ornaments if you want to do it or if you can make a bigger one. Um, it all depends on the size. You know, you can make them longer sure I think a little shorter would be nicer with the wings so they'll, they'll look a little bit more proportion to the body but I think that looks all right I am not disappointed with it so far and um, you know I'm gonna go around and clean things up a little bit more but um, and redefine his halo there a little bit more but I'll do this wing while I'm off line but uh, we're still doing this portion here underneath all right there we go now we did that side now we're doing this side over here all right let's just bring this down so much you can do with the with just the block so if you don't have a bandsaw you can make these this should not be a real problem to make these um, I'm gonna go back of it a little bit more to find that line a little bit more with the wing and that come together there we go now we're gonna round this off you can make that a little deeper if you want. Uh, that's entirely up to you. All right, with the hands here, what we're going to do is, uh, I see we're running out of time, so let me come back and we'll show you how to do that. All right, put it back.